Hello and welcome to this Blender Beginners video tutorial. In this video tutorial I'm going to be covering the different selection methods that you get in edit mode. So to begin with we're going to edit enter edit mode. So select the shape, the cube in this case, and there's two ways to enter edit mode. You can go down here and select edit mode and then you enter edit mode or you can just press tab which is what I do and it's it's a little quicker so we're going to enter edit mode now before I begin all the controls we're going to be using are here are available down here and if you press control tab they will be available there not all of them but most of them on control tab so let's begin Okay, so we'll start off with Vertex Select. Vertex Select is available down here. It's the cube with the little dot on one corner. And Vertex Select, when you select it, you'll see these points on the cube. And you can right click to select them. And you can manipulate every corner of your object. So you can drag the corners, make a weird and wacky shape. And through a lot of manipulation through this and when you have a lot more of these vertices you actually create a 3D a um, 3D model such as a face or a yeah so you create a face this is how you create a face people so through just dragging vertices you'll create um, a shape but now okay but vertices that can take a while because what if I want to move this move this edge down. Okay, so vertices, you have to click two times, trust me, it slows you down if you have to click two times a lot of times. So, there's another mode, and that's called edge select mode. Let's move on to there. Okay, so edge select mode is available down here, it's the cube with a line along one of its edges. You can also use the control tab menu and select edge select and when you select it you'll see that the sides of the cube, all the sides of the shape become lines and there's no vertexes visible so what you can do is you can you can now drag a select the edge and you can drag the whole edge so it's one click when with vertices you'll be using two clicks so that's pretty handy and it saves a lot of time uh, when you have to click 300 times adjust 300 edges now I don't think I've ever done that before but it really saves time so the edge select just makes your um, it just helps to speed up and I mean the chances of you using vertex select is actually not that I don't use it much because I use edge select and face select because it's just faster so edge select is great okay and it's really powerful and stuff like that but now what happens if I want to select that and drag that up okay once again you'd have four clicks to just select that and once again that can slow you down in the long run so for that we get face select so let's go move on to face select okay so face select can be accessed here it's where one of the cube surfaces are colored in so you can click it there or you can go control tab and select face select mode and then you'll see there's dots appear in the middle of the surface so when you select the surface it will only select that surface and now we can drag it like so and we can manipulate the object's faces so if there were this allows for quick editing of a object so you just want to get the basic shape of the object right before you go in and add more detail via edge and vertex select mode you'd use face select just get the right size for the object and then you'd move on into the other modes and that's face select okay but now I'm sure after watching this, all of this, you must have realized, wait a minute, but now I have to change modes. Wouldn't that also slow me down? 
it can slow you down okay don't write all of this off as rubbish it won't slow me down it can so well there's a trick just go hold in shift and select all the modes and you can see we have all four modes selected now I don't know I only found this out very recently now you can see we have vertex edge and face select available to us and so say we want those three vertices we can just select that face and deselect that vertex so it speeds it up and this is really a useful way to model because you are have all the methods available available to you at the same time and so yeah that's a trick it really speeds you up and then there's one more thing we're going to cover and let's cover that okay that one more thing I promised you that we we're going to cover is limit visibility now that limit visibility is this button over here and what it does is you can see now it's on because it's dark gray so it's toggled it's on and we can what it does is we can only see this side of the object so we can only see these three faces that are in our direction basically we can't see these back faces which is yeah it looks great but say you want to select that face and you don't want to have to rotate all the way around and then come back you can just go here and uncheck limit visibility and now you can see right through the cube so I can go and select that face Whoops. so just like that and uh, bear in mind it is going to select everything because I am in vertex select so sorry let me just I'm still in that other selection method that we were so we'll just switch to face select and now I can go and select those two faces so I didn't have to rotate around so that's just one handy feature for you to have and then of course when you tick it again you will get it Lim visibility will be limited again okay and that's all for the selection methods I hope you enjoyed this I hope you found it informative and until next time bye